There we go. Uh, yesterday we went over stamp making, and what you guys are gonna wanna have right now are tools and stamps and different things like that. Um, you could always make more stamps. Remember that they do need to become bone dry though, so you might need to let them set up overnight. Your tiles are going to be due on Monday. Uh, with all the different textures and everything on them. I want you guys to have fun with these. Uh, I decided to do this as a project after break because I felt like it was something relaxing, something you could be pretty free with. Uh, I went in yesterday, I know, in class, and I created these little texture tiles with you guys, just kind of playing around with different things. So I would recommend that before you go ahead and do anything on your final piece, go on to just a slab of clay, some smushed clay, test out your stamps, test out your textures. Um, I was saying uh, before that you can have a, re a stamp that you're like, mm, kind of ugly, not sure about it, but it might print really, really nicely. And I even you know, found when I was working on these last block that I felt I needed even more tools. So this was my first one I did. And I know I just showed you guys. I almost had like a little sea theme going on and I did leave a little negative space where I didn't fill in the clay with patterns. And you guys also wanna pay attention that this is smooth around the edges. You don't want any pointy edges. When I was looking through some of um, your submissions, a few of them were a little pointy. Make sure whether you're doing a square or a triangle or a circle, that your edges are nice and rounded because when this dries, it's gonna be a little pokey. And when you are all finished, still keep it wrapped up in plastic and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna let them dry out nice and slow so that they don't curl up on you. Um, you could see that this is starting to dry already. See how it's kind of curling up a little bit along the edge here? Maybe if I hold it up, you could see better. You could probably see better tomorrow, but it is curling up. It's not like even like it used to be. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go about doing that. And next week is gonna be project drop off for these and the porcelain vases. Uh, we're gonna do it on Wednesday. We're gonna go over Monday, boxing everything up, and then you could drop it off Wednesday and I will start firing things. Now, if you wanted to make this a composition, uh, you could have your tiles, one flowing into the next. You can also like set them up in a square and have something that kind of flows together. I decided I just kind of want to make these each individually different. Uh, it's a little more relaxing for me. I don't have an exact set idea in mind and I think I'm gonna make them all very different in style. So this one's really flowy and naturey. I think I'm gonna work a lot with like these little um, nails and screws that I have and make this kind of like steampunk-esque. So I'm gonna go through my stamps that I have and find some things that I think will work. And I'm gonna go in with this little guy first. And with these, I always wanna leave a little bit of negative space. You also wanna be mindful, if you wanna use these as a coaster, I wouldn't build anything up on top of it. Sorry. I wouldn't build anything up on top of it, like a sculptural piece. I would just make the indents on there. But if you wanna make it a wall piece, you are more than welcome to slip and score anything that you want to on there. So I'm gonna like overlap this a little bit cause I feel like it looks like wiring or something. some of these little guys too 
and I feel like they're kind of gearish. Now, when you're making um, your stamps, the ones you had yesterday might have a few little crumblies in them. Uh, just go in and do your best to remove those because you're gonna get a cleaner stamp that way. I think I'm gonna actually push over this one section a little bit more. Okay, yeah, I like that. And then maybe one right here. So these are my imprints that I'm starting to make on here. I kind of want them to be almost like little gears and wiring and wheels because I'm going to go in and I'm going to use these little found object pieces to push into them as well. And today and tomorrow I'm going to just kind of be working on these. I'll do one each block as you guys work along with me. And you could still find objects around your house. You know, take a look, see what you got. And just try to come up with a fun composition. I'm almost setting mine up like little like moons where I'm leaving a little section here bare. Be careful too when you're removing um, different little items. You don't want them to get stuck in the clay. I think I'm gonna roll this around. fun with this guys it should be pretty relaxing nothing too scary nothing too serious oh I like that I know I had what did I have the other day a weird one. Oh, the weird one yes that's the weird one and I'm gonna actually if I could fit this right here. Um, and I'll put it there. And push it in. So you guys can kind of see now how I'm building it. All little different gears, different things like that. So it's very juxtaposed, very different than the little uh, natural sea themed one I did. So, you know, we were naturally kind of going in with the organic style, but I felt like making one a little different. So they're your tiles. But make sure everything is smooth as uh, you know, they dry out and become a little bit more leather, you'll be able to get those little crumblies out. Maybe I'll use, I don't wanna use that. What do I wanna use? Ooh, that'll work. fill in the whole thing. 
If you want to, you can. So I just kind of pushed that tool in, started to make those little lines. And I think you guys can kind of see now how the stamps and the tools work together really nicely. It gives you a starting point to then uh, go in and texture around. I'm gonna go in and adjust this stamp a little bit because I feel like it could be a little bit more pronounced. So I'm just gonna kind of outline it. tile work like this is fun because it's simple and if you make a mistake um you could always fill it in with a little bit more clay and smooth it over or it's pretty easy to cut a new one out flowing here let's say what do we want to do next maybe I'll kind of go in pushing some little lines like that And you guys can use like a sharpened pencil as a pin tool if you need to. Yeah, all those crumblies I'll have to cut them out tomorrow. But I'm gonna go in with this, make some little lines, and the glazes will be transparent that we're gonna use on these. So you'll be able to see the textures really nicely and the glazes will set into them in all different ways. half moon thing like I did on my other one. I'm gonna go in and just darken up these lines by carving a little bit extra out. And just keep making sure that your sides are smooth. Uh, I don't quite feel finished. What else do I need here? Something, something, something.
I don't like that. So, if that happens, you can fill it in a little if you'd like to. I'm gonna compress this clay into that area and smooth over. I'm just not feeling it. I don't like this. Same thing, uh, you know, as filling in any little areas on a vase. Could just smooth some fresh clay over it. Make sure you get it nice and even. Really work it in there. Because that was, that was just not doing it. That was not it. All right, let's see. I feel like I need one more little thing though. Um, do -do -do. Let's take this apart and see what it is. Is this different? Is this different? No. I wish I had another stamp right now. I'm just gonna go in and add some texture. I think I'll carry like these almost like little noise waves that I was making over into it. And like I said, we don't want these to dry out too fast because the edges are gonna kind of curl up on you. And we don't want that. I'm gonna try to avoid that. All right. I'm gonna say I like that. I think I'm finished. So I have all my different textures in here. And I kind of have this gear steampunk thing going on now. Uh, you know, you guys could go in and clean them up as they dry out a little bit more, but we do want to make sure uh, that we are wrapping them up in plastic. Like I said, I'm using these little Ziploc baggies. If you want to do that, you can. If you want to just, um, you know, maybe like cut up a little shopping bag and wrap them tightly each individually, uh, that is fine too. So now I have my first little two finished. Oh, you can't see them through the bag really, I guess. But I showed you in the beginning. And I'm gonna work on my next two tomorrow. So I will show you guys those tomorrow.